All right, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to talk about barrel threading, specifically threading your barrel for suppressors. All right, for our safety people, let's go ahead and let me, you know, show you everything's clear. There's no bullet in that one. All right, so we've noticed an uptick in the last, I don't know, year, two years. A lot of people getting barrels threaded for suppressor use specifically. Uh, we see a lot of barrels coming in here specifically for suppressor use. So another thing we see is a lot of barrels coming in here that have been improperly threaded, threaded someplace that I'm sure thought they were doing the best job possible, but they, they just weren't doing it quite good enough. So I just want to cover a couple things and so give everybody a little bit more information on this. And then also we're going to talk about things that are kind of weird, hard to thread, um, things that come with factory threading like this AK that isn't exactly the best idea. Okay, so one of the biggest issues with barrel threading is alignment. And when I talk about alignment, I'm talking about the through bore of your barrel and this shoulder right here. Those two need to be perfectly 90 degrees to each other to ensure proper suppressor alignment. You can imagine if this is off just a little bit and you stack seven, eight, nine inch suppressor out here, the end of that just gets even more extreme as to what's happening back here. End result is a baffle strike. All right, so right here, this is a, this customer's gun is sent in. It's clear. This is a Browning BAR. Uh, these aren't, I wouldn't say these are necessarily easy to thread, depends on your lathe, the setup somebody has. Uh, this one came in and we did thread it for suppressor, we've checked it for alignment, it's good to go. The point I'm making with this gun is, you wanna make sure you send your gun in to somebody who's qualified, a good machinist, knows how to do a really good setup before you do something like this. Pulling the barrel out of the action receiver of a Browning BAR, may or may not be something most people want to tackle. So your next option is you need to put the entire receiver and barrel in the lathe and get everything trued up perfectly before you start that threading operation. Another gun that is, I would say problematic to thread is uh, most of your AK variants that are out there. I've seen tools on the internet where you, I don't know, like you stick this mandrel in there and then you have this die and you're like, guys are cranking these, it's this whole, it's nothing but a mess. And again, you don't end up with a good shoulder here for your suppressor to line up to. Uh, so we built our own tooling here to house AKs. Um, your option of pulling a barrel out of an AK can be done. It's not a terrible big deal, but it does take a lot of time and it requires pressing the barrel out of the trunnion of the of the receiver and then putting it back proper headspace list goes on so there's a lot of points there where somebody could screw it up um, so on the AKs again we built a, a tool and a fixture to put the entire receiver in the lathe uh, more importantly on these AKs this one in particular these actually come with the thread on the end uh, I don't remember the exact specs of it but it's a very large thread um, and, but it's also part of this whole front sight gas block. This front sight and gas block is held on with two little pins down here. When you're shooting suppressed, there's a lot of force and energy traveling that way when all those gases start hitting the baffles. And I don't know about you, but I don't really trust these two little pins in here to hold all this on when that suppressor's threaded to that. So we cut that off and we put threads onto the actual barrel with a good shoulder on the actual barrel so the gun lines up perfectly with your suppressor and you don't have to worry about using um, AK-47 specific silencers 
Um, AK-47 specific silencers a lot of times will be overboard or your blast baffle might be 30 cal and as you go down the stack that hole progressively gets larger. That is to account for the fact that most AKs aren't threaded straight. So, I think that covers AKs. Lastly, this is a barreled action on a gun that uh, we're working on here in house. Um, and we thread most hunting rifles for breaks or whatever it may be. Uh, but this, this you know, thread job is done properly. It's chucked up in a lathe, indicator rods, barrels indicated the way it should be and all the threading's done. And then it's crowned. So if you send your hunting rifle into us to get threaded, you know, this is the kind of work you can expect to see. Okay, so in closing, I don't care who you choose to have your barrel threaded by, just make a good decision and make sure you're using something reputable. Obviously, I would love it if you sent your barrels in here to MCM to get them threaded. We have customers send their guns in from all across the country uh, for various work, but including barrel threading. Um, if you have an issue with a gun that we've threaded, say you do have a baffle strike or something, and it is in our work on that threading, we're gonna stand behind you, we'll get that can replaced. Uh, that's very important to note. If you go to your neighbor's garage, you have a baffle strike, uh, you might be on your own. You might not be paying for that can. So uh, that's something else to consider. Also, uh, shotguns, we also thread shotguns. So internal thread for rem chokes, external thread, it's not an issue. So if we can help you out, let us know. Thanks.